Hi everyone, my name is James Ivey with Antelope Audio. In my opinion, there are two types of microphone preamp, those that colour the sound and those that are what we might call transparent. Now, unless we know exactly the direction we want the mix and in the end the song to take, it can be very tricky to guess which colour or flavour of mic pre to choose to get the right tone and vibe for your recordings. It's easier and sometimes safer to go with a transparent mic pre and add the tone later. In this video, I'm going to show you around the five mic preamp emulations currently available for the Antelope Audio Synergy Core FX platform. I'll give you the guided tour of each one of them, and we'll hear them on a vocal and on drums, so you can hear just how much difference the mic pre really makes. In this video, we're going to be working with a song by British artist Benjamin Bloom called Brainwashed. As I said, we currently have five mic pre's available for the Synergy Core platform. These are the Gyrotech IX, or 9, the VPA76, the BAE1073 MP, the RD47, and the BA31. Each of these preamps is modelled on a so-called golden unit, a prime example of each of these very different and characterful, if that's a real word, mic pre's. The Gyrotech 9 is the most modern of all the mic pre's in the range. It's simple to control and yet very versatile. The variable gain input tube with an SRPP output stage delivers on tone every time. Along with an input and output gain control, we have controls for phase reverse and a two-stage high-pass filter. Let's hear it on a vocal. I'll dial it in to give us a nice aggressive vocal tone. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Come on in and make yourself at home Please excuse the mess And join the other guests I'll make sure you never feel alone The VPA76 is based on a German microphone preamp that has long been hailed as the Rolls-Royce of tube or valve mic pre's. The technical specs and engineering standards that the VPA76 was built to were exceedingly high for the time. Can't think why. The warmth adjustment adds plenty of tube character. We then also have a 3K low pass filter and adjustable high pass filter and an output volume adjustment. Welcome to my world Welcome to my world Come on in and make yourself at home Please excuse the mess Join the other guests I'll make sure you never feel alone Ask any new or experienced audio engineer what the most famous mic pre in the world is and there's a fairly high chance of them saying the number 1073. The 1073, as designed by the late Rupert Neve, is the sound of big rock records and the BAE 1073 MP variant that you have access to inside the Synergy Core range of interfaces is just as much a rock monster. It features an input gain, a switch to select between 300 ohm and 1.2k ohm impedance for a subtle character change and an output control. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Come on in and make yourself at home. Please excuse the mess. And join the other guests I'll make sure you never feel alone The RD47 is an authentic recreation of one of the tube line amplifiers used at London's Abbey Road Studios. If you want that 60s vibe and punch, this mic pre has it in spades. It was not just used for microphones, but for line outs and even hardware sends and monitor sends. Its controls are very simple. We have a voltage gain knob, an output trim knob, and a return screw. Let's see what we can get out of this piece of rock and roll history. Welcome to my world. 
Welcome to my world. Come on in and make yourself at home. Please excuse the mess. Join the other guests. I'll make sure you never feel alone. The BA31 is a model of an extremely rare, which in turn makes it an extremely expensive germanium transistor mic pre. It's easy to use and gives your recordings that old school solid state sound. And yes, solid state electronics do have a sound. Control wise, we have an input gain, a bypass and an output trim. What more do you need? Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Come on in and make yourself at home. Please excuse the mess. Join the other guests. I'll make sure you never feel alone. So you've heard each of the mic pre's on their own. Now let's hear them back to back on the same vocal so you can get an idea of the sort of tonal differences there are between them. Welcome to my world, welcome to my world, come on in and make yourself at home, please excuse the mess, join the other guests, I'll make sure you never feel alone. Tell me what you are needing One day you'll start believing Now let's try the mic pre's on a multi-mic drum kit. I've put each mic pre on the 13 drum mics and set them so you get a good degree of mic pre tone. This is a good test as it shows how the mic pre's stack together.
So there you go, there's a quick look at the Antelope Audio Synergy Core Microphone Preamp Collection. I think you'll agree that there is tonally something in there to suit all styles and tastes. Hope you enjoyed that. My name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon.